Ladies and gentlemen, my name is CY2 Squared, and this is episode 9 of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. We are headed up and over to the right in this episode. We're going to be in a brand new area. I do not know what to expect. I haven't, quite frankly, I haven't been this far. So I am going to change my weapon, though, real quick. I've been using the Thorn Whip. Mainly, I'll show you why. Because of this move. Boom! See, that's a regular whip. And then we got the critical. And it uses very little mana. Like, it almost restores immediately. I am going to switch back over to the Oof Bear. There's a witch up here that... There's another barber. Not too worried about him. He's not that tough. It's that monstrosity that you keep hearing. Oh, what is she crying? Yeah, it's like crying. Well, we're going this way. Um, the whip, thorn whip is good for the flesh, but this, eh. Well, you know what? I'm going to go traditional. I'm going to use the whip through here. Unless we encounter some armored in and in amenities. And then we'll switch back over to the Ulf Bear. What's that below me? I wish you could press down and then like the screen would move down. A lot of old Sega Genesis games worked like that. Oh, 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 hi. I'm going to go ahead, inventory, we want, oh my god, I have no potions and no food. What am I thinking? I should have went and bought some or crafted some. Okay, so what do we have here? Like weird magnetic things. This is some kind of contraption. And we have a gun capacity thingy over there. This seems like, a, like something moves. Look, there's a chest down there. We'll figure it out. These things take time. Like, what? Let's switch back over to the Oof Bear. Oof Bear is a real sword, in case you didn't know. A blacksmith back in the 8900s would craft his name, Oof Bart, on his swords. He, made, he had a refined technique that got out all the impurities, almost all the carbon impurities, which made the steel stronger. The dude made steel as strong as steel we have today in bridges and skyscrapers. I'm about to die. What the hell is that? Is that the giant? Holy... Ah! Fucker! What the hell? You can just spit fire? Come. Riga Stormer, conjure a column of flame. 
that was really all it took to kill that thing? Hell yeah! I'm gonna be using this for now on. Oh! Hi! I don't have any potions, so could you take it easy on me? Acid jet. Spray a powerful acid in the designated direction. Oh, I poisoned him. I can do Vega Storm too. You want to come down here? You aren't that tough. You big baby. And I just got a dance mask. Intelligence up, but mine down. Okay. Okay. There, okay, I poisoned him to death. Oh, this was like a spiral staircase. That was oh, totally cool, man. Please be a save room. A demon! Wait, I'm a good killer barber. <laughs> I'm a good killer barber. Butchers and cutthroats all say as much. The interesting thing about barbers in the Middle Ages was they were call also called blood letters, which is why whenever you go to a barber shop, you'll see the re the red candy cane, red and white candy cane looking thing. That was a symbol for we let blood here. People believed if they got sick, if they just popped open a vein and drained some blood, that it would get rid of the sickness. I'm not a cutthroat. I've never cut anyone. Uh, well, 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 I have, but, but it's these scissors. They've cursed me to become a demon. Then why not cast them aside? Cast them aside? If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed. Duh. <sighs> the name's Todd. And the only way my Todd lifted is if I barber my way through 666 different hairstyles. 666 different hairstyles. Sweeney Todd. The singing serial killer barber. Well, why not just make the hairstyles up then? Lop a little off here or there. Ah, there's a penalty for sloppy lopping. If I don't give my patrons good haircuts, the scissors kill them dead. You have the worst curse ever. Yes, quite literally, yes. Please, can you help me find information about hairstyles? I'll cut you for free. That is not an enticing offer. No, not seeing how I could die. No, 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 not, not cut you, cut it. Wait, what are you even worried about? You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. Hmm. I really could. All right. You have a deal. <sighs> so, miss, shall I take a little off the top? Oh, wow. You actually can get different haircuts and change the hair color. Um, hair catalog. 
I kind of like the hair the way it is, but we can do this. And, oh, I got a trophy, a new you. And then hair color. I like the red and the silver. In true Castlevania style, we'll go silver. All right, no, you know what, let's switch it up. Let's go red. It looks good with the pirate hat and the dance mask. Oh, I can change the costume color. Oh, this is rad. Ooh, pink and red. I kind of like green. Ooh, that looks too, like, Jolly Rancher-ish. I'm gonna go full green. Green and red. Merry Christmas. The look suits you fine. Cool. So, but you, don't tell me you'd actually have to do this 666 times to help this dude. Maybe I'll be back, buddy. And I forgot to jump. actually did a lot better than I thought I would there. Whoa! This is amazing! Oh, is that his familiar? Or can I get that? Ah, oh, no! I didn't want to do that! That was close. Let's see what's in here. I need a save room bad. Or whatever. A rose ring. And then we also have Archives Journal. Um, 1764, the guild has been abandoned by yet another patron. Today's world sees our work as meandering, fruitless mysticism, and whilst my superiors have tried scaring the aristocracy by insinuating their mockery of the intangible will bring demons to their gates, I doubt these tactics will suffice to avert the guild's demise. My superiors act with alacrit... Alash I don't know that word. I, I know the meaning of it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Alactry? Al Alactry? Oh, man, I feel stupid. I can't pronounce it. Now, they have sent a missive demanding I focus my studies on the conjuring of demons. And I... It's not that I don't know the word. I literally can't pronounce it. So don't make fun of me. Demanding I focus my studies on the conjuring of demons. So they see my crystal as a waste of time. And this new task is not... The Library of the Gaiath has been with the guild for generations. If they think I can squeeze a demon out of it now, their faith is sorely misplaced. Um, only they did squeeze a demon out of it, didn't they? A ring that increases the amount of magic restored by mana roses. Hmm. That's almost worth it. Oh, 
Have I been up here? Right, right, the haircut guy. So, miss, shall I take a little off the top? Um, no. No. A shame. My scissors are extra sharp today. Oh, I bet they are, you creep. I like your demonic painting. So where have we not went into? We did go into... Okay, we didn't go this way. Well, duh, I could just look at the map. Yes! Yes! Oh, thank you. It's not a save room, but it's good enough. I don't... Of course, I don't need to go anywhere. Well, you know what? I do need to go somewhere. I need to go all the way back here so I can go home. I'm going to craft some potions. I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to possibly make some food. We can go ahead and see if the farmer is done growing the potatoes. We hop on over here. I finished the harvest. Here's your share. Nice. So now we have corn and potatoes. We should be able to make some meals now. Ten potatoes, potatoes. See what's up with this lady. How are you, Miriam? Getting by. Come back when you can. Okay, that was the wrong... Okay, and I'm almost dead. Like, my controller is vibrating, telling me, Hey, buddy, you're almost dead. We can see if we have any rewards to turn There's in with this girl. Here's what I've turned up on the Good work. Here's your reward. I got five hemp for killing those monsters. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. And I've killed four demons. Good work. Here's your reward. Steel. So we'll be able to craft a new weapon. Um, I have the feeling there's going to be some pretty cool dialogue. New dialogue coming from Dominic and, and Johannes. Usually is when you come back after exploring a new area. So we will start episode 10 with that and then we will move on to a new area which will be back where we were poisoning the demons that were flying around in the air we need to keep going that way don't forget to like comment and subscribe to cy2 squared every single subscriber helps comment and i'll get back with you thanks for watching bye bye